Fox 10 News has new details tonight in that gruesome mass murder in Daphne. Four people dead, three related to the suspect, Jared Tarrant Smith. A grandmother, grandfather, and brother to Smith all shot and beaten with a pickaxe along with a family friend. Fox 10 News' Hal Sherrick is in the Daphne PD where a press conference just wrapped up and earlier how the suspect had already been arrested at his home earlier in the day. He had Byron Daphne PD arrested him, charged with criminal mischief after they say he broke a door inside his grandparents' home there on Melanie Loop. It was after he bonded out from that, police say he went back and killed everyone inside the home. Neighbors heard gunfire last night and called police. When officers arrived at 123 Melanie Loop, they found 80-year-old Leonard Smith bludgeoned to death in a bedroom. In the backyard, his wife, 72-year-old Barbara Smith, family friend, 71-year-old Sheila Glover, and grandson, 27-year-old Jeremy Smith, were also found dead. Those three were all shot. Um, we believe that after the grandfather was killed, uh, the offender went back outside with the pickaxe and bludgeoned them. Investigators say 21-year-old Jared Tarrant Smith Bracey was in the driveway but ran to nearby woods and hid when police arrived. He was taken into custody a short time later, the gun and pickaxe found nearby. Police believe Smith was angry about the earlier incident at the home where he lived with his grandparents and older brother and planned to kill them. Police say the gun used in the murders belonged to the person who gave him a ride home. What came out of that interview, and we, we don't have any evidence to refute, uh, that statement is that he had no idea what was going to go on. As soon as he pulled up in front of that house, the offender got out, grabbed a gun that was in the car um, that did not belong to him, and entered the house with that gun. Investigators aren't aware of any prior criminal history. During his interview, investigators say Smith confessed to the killings and was very matter-of-fact, showing no remorse. Sheila Glover was the family friend who was very close to the suspect's grandmother. She happened to be at the house last night and was the only victim not related to Jared Smith. A 20-year military veteran and retired postal worker, Glover was the oldest of eight children. Her family met with prosecutors today and say they're reassured by what they heard. It's a tragedy for everybody involved, right. but... When you see the, um, the DA have tears in his eyes for a person that he doesn't know, mm. that mean a lot to our family. Mm. Jared Smith is charged with four counts of capital murder. He's being held on no bond, but he will have a bond hearing set. It's for tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Now, since it's a capital case, all court proceedings will be handled inside circuit court, including that bond hearing tomorrow. Live in Daphne, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.